Nigeria's electoral body, INEC Chairman Yakubu, incompetent and corrupt. U.S. Professor, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. A United States Professor of Applied Economics at Johns Hopkins University, Steve Hank, has raised the outcome of Nigeria's 2023 presidential and national assembly elections held on Saturday, February 25th, 2023. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on the early hours of Wednesday, declared Bola Tsenembo of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, winner of the February 25, 2023 presidential election. The electoral umpire, amid controversies over the outcome of the elections across the country, said Tsenembo, a 70-year-old former Lagos State Governor, polled a total of 8,794,726 votes to his closest contender, former Vice President of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, who secured a total of 6,984,520 votes, and a who came third with a total 6,101,533 votes. According to the results announced by the INEC, Atiku Obi and Rabi Kwankwaso of the new Nigeria People's Party, NMPP, who came fourth, with a total number of 1,496,687 votes have rejected the outcome of the election, alleging irregularities and violation of Constitution and Electoral Act 2022 by the INEC during the process. Thousands of Nigerians across the country have rejected the elections as there were reports of electoral violence in many places, late arrival of INEC officials and electoral materials. Large records of disenfranchisement Motivations of election results and INEC failure to transmit the election results electronically from the polling units as provided by the Electoral Act 2022. Through the U.S. government, though the U.S. government has sent a congratulatory message to the president elect Tunumbu, the U.S. professor Hang said that when it comes to Nigeria Electoral Commission and its chairman Mahmoud Yakubu, incompetence and corruption are the name of the game. Reacting to the ask of the elections on his Twitter handle, Hang said, Nigeria's presidential election draws a close with Bola Tenembo declared the victor amidst cries of vote rigging. When it comes to Nigeria's electoral commission and its chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu, incompetence and corruption are the name of the game. And the thing is, even this is crystal clear. Make I tell you now, you see those people waiting and say, come monitor the electoral process. It is a they care about you now. In fact, they won't make Nigeria go into war. Make them come pretend say they want to conceive. But let me tell you people the, 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 the hard truth. They're not like you now. I mean, even if I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying every, each and every one of them have that mindset, but the majority of them, they want to be seen as the hero. And for them to be the hero, something's supposed to spoil. There is nobody that will see the video clips of voting rigging, battle snatching, violence, intimidation, harassment, how the results were not sent to, you know, when I said through beavers, and you come out here and tell me to really won the election. Like I said, how you been those things were out of the picture? We don't have, uh, we, uh, what's it called, these things everywhere. We don't have manipulated results. We don't have um, people who were sent back home, or people who are, who are harassed. I'm telling you, many people not going to make noise. They go, don't continue their life, but people are not happy because this is not what they voted for. And it is crystal clear that this this particular person, it is crystal clear that this particular person now, hmm? it is crystal clear that he did not win the election. Do you ever think about why a white man, Baltimore, Maryland, has, has so much interest in the outcome of Nigeria election? With Hank Rotome and Nigeria, they understand that he is an economy hitman in the third countries for decades. When are people going to understand these people do not wish Africa well? What is what did man know about the other than what did than what the clown from Ota told them to publish? Okay, are you implying that Tunumbu and APC will break the evil grip of neo colonizers over Nigerian resources? Don't you think they are rather puppets? So they came in through rigging to better Nigerians. That is why I am saying, no matter what happens, eh, come what may, make sure that you do not proclaim negativity to this country. You know, even though it's, we don't even know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. People who are crying, oh, this one don't happen, no. Oh, hey, where they go start from? It is too early. Eh? They never break at all. 
Are you okay? Is that a credible answer to election rigging? All we wanted is free and fair elections. Are we asking for too much? No, of course you're not. The result of my polling unit was changed at the coalition center from 78 to Labour Party 3. Is that good? You see? So this one is not a matter of the no no. People they talk with the no no. Like I said, had it been this man in March the winner without all those things in the picture, for goodness sake, Nigeria people will not move on. Hi, ah, yes. What's come to once? They go shame people who support P2B. They're going to harass them on Twitter, drag them for some weeks. Another thing will happen where we go distract people's attention. This professor is one of those delusional Republicans who up to today still believe that Donald Trump won the 2020 election in the U.S. So how can he give a fair assessment of another country that you obviously know nothing about? Unfortunately, you are wrong. The guy was never a Trump supporter but critic on economic matters. His field anyway, go check his history. Even the U.S. know the election was rigged by technology bypass and will sure, and will sure see that in their leaked memos in the future. Do not expect a candidate that won by fraud to stop fraud. You cannot destroy a ladder you used to climb up while you're still up there. Time will tell. I still maintain my position that foreign observer opinion does not in any way invalidate. Of course now, it does not in any way invalidate. This thing where they even do us, they've gone. This thing where they do us, this ripping where they rip us. Hmm? Now even more insults to Nigerians. You know why? Even if we are not even based respected in our country, how do you expect... People where they have our people eh, to respect them. How? U.S. citizens, they already play with their citizens. That is why if one U.S. citizen, they wherever in the, they seek anything happen to them, problem. Or maybe something can't touch them. Voila! But here, yeah, no. In fact, people will be foreigners for this country, say, so you are the same game at passers. So why is it necessary to invite foreign observers in the first place? Anyway, since the kidnappings touch and hardship that visited you, your people in your last dispensation did not teach you a lesson, let's hope this elicit voting spree will not put you in a worse position. Tomorrow, the JHO prof will say some obedient and Apple members use his account as Charlie Boy did with Time Magazine's cover page. Was it concerned university lecture with Nigeria election? Anyway, if he did, it is irrelevant because his own opinion like any American citizen. Anyway, these people are soliciting for any foreign entity or support their cause. The proud and oaks boy attacked the Congress on January 6 because of the lie of the loser who claimed the Democratic Party operative rigged the election. Even in the U.S., the people do not trust the instant transmission of election votes. Somebody sold a technology that is rated about 85% efficiency. This is nonsense reporting now. It is like the faceless professor is hearing your view. Maybe he has some personal grudge against Yakubo. He speaks like Donald Trump, the disgruntled outgoing portals who basically adjourned the last U.S. election as fraudulent, even with more than 60 of his suits thrown out of court for failing to support his claims with facts. The American professor's opinion is another big lie. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. All right.